Hello and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Well, Friday's second edition of Cracking the Cryptic because I did do a crossword video earlier on today. So if you enjoy cryptic crosswords, um, do check that out. Fantastic puzzle from the Times today. Um, but that's not what this this video ought to be about. This this video should should be about, hopefully if I can solve it, um, should be about the solving of a puzzle called Disconnected by KNT who is a terrifying terrifying constructor but we absolutely have to do this this has a perfect 100% rating on Logic Masters Germany not an easy thing to achieve at all uh, and it's been solved by a lot of people including one of our testers who basically wrote me the most fulsome email saying that this simply had to appear on the channel it is so unbelievably brilliant um, so that is what we're going to try and do today. I have had a quick flick through the rules and they are unusual. You can see there's no there's no um, regions in the grid and that is because we have to build the regions ourselves. But very, very differently to usual. The regions can be diagonally connected, if I understand this correctly. So you could have a region that was sort of, you know, that could be a region even though it doesn't look like it's a region in any normal sense. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. It's got three stars out of five for difficulty. Um, so in theory, not monstrous, but it's only a six by six. So we shall see. This is what I'm going to be having go at in a moment or two ah, in a moment or two's time once I put my teeth back in. Um, what else do we need to mention? Um, well, I think the only other thing I want to say, well, over on Patreon, obviously, we've got Glum Hippo's uh, Snake Egg Sudoku Hunt. Do check that out. It is fabulous. And you've still got a few days left to enter the competition. But I've got some birthdays I'd like to read out too. I'm going to start off with Arabella, whose birthday, well, is actually on the 18th. But I figured by the time this gets to Australia, uh, it will be the 18th. Um, Arabella has turned 24 today and has been watching since before the pandemic. So that is that is old school. Uh, and apparently you're gonna spend the day at Byron Bay uh, eating chocolate cake and with a Sudoku video. Well, that sounds jolly civilized. Arabella, thank you for watching and many, many happy returns. Uh, next, Eliza, it's your birthday today. And I know this because your boyfriend, Josh, wrote to us and asked, asked us basically to tell you that he loves you and he's so grateful to have you in his life and he wants you to stay there for many many more years i don't know where there is but he would like you to remain there please um eliza many happy returns i hope you have a great day today um now the next one's really good claire claire it's your birthday today and i know this because your dad john wrote to us and john asked me to let you know um, that you have one secret bonus present which is hidden in your mother's suitcase and here is a clue to help you unlock the suitcase you need three different sudoku digits that sum to 23 i'm giving no hints but hopefully claire you will get the secret present don't know what it is but i hope it's a good one um, and then finally jake over there in california your mum kendra wrote to us um, and told us that you were turning 12 today. And I gather you, are, you have started watching the videos, which is fantastic. And your mum is so proud of you and how you're growing up and how hard you've been working at school. So well done. Well done, Jake. Enjoy the party tomorrow. I gather you're having ice cream cake, which I, I do approve of. Many happy returns. All that said and done, let us turn our attention to KNT's puzzle and let's read the rules together of Disconnected. We have to place the digits from one to six exactly once in every row, column and region. The regions are orthogonally or diagonally connected and must be located by the solver. So we've already thought about what that might mean. A number in the top left corner of a cell indicates the sum of the digits in the orthogonally connected section of the region that cell belongs to. Now, let's just deal quickly with what orthogonally connected means because um, some people don't know. Orthogonally connected means shares an edge with. So those three cells are orthogonally connected. Actually, I should use one of the one of the numbers to do this. Those three cells are orthogonally connected. I mean, let's say that this region here, this purple region, which must be six cells altogether, looks like that. Then 
This 14 clue is saying those three digits add up to 14, uh, which we could make therefore 3, 5 and 6 in some way. 3, 3 5, 6. I think that is what that 14 is saying. Now, if we changed this, if we deleted that one and put in that one, then what we're saying is that those cells sum to 14, I think. So it's, it's just the orthogonal bit that the clue is referring to. <laughs> um, a cell with a red X in the bottom right corner indicates the size, i.e. the number of cells of the orthogonally connected section of the region that cell belongs to. Right, so let's say this region was looked like this. That would be a four, I think. I think that's what that means. All possible size clues, red X's, are given. Now that is a strange rule, because what that means is I don't really know what that means, but there's certainly a negative constraint going on, isn't there? So, any, well, actually, maybe I'm going to be solving if I start to think about what that means. So maybe we should just say, do have a go at the puzzle. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play, let's get cracking. And I'm just going to be think. I just want to think for a moment about what this, these two clues mean. So. What that's saying is well, if you had a size six region in this puzzle, let's say that was a region that couldn't that specifically couldn't be a region, could it? Because and the reason I say that is that that obviously contains the regions the digits one to six in an orthogonally connected group. And therefore the six in that region ought to have an X. So the fact we've only got two X's in the grid means that a lot of the regions in this puzzle are, are not orthogonally connected. There is quite some diagonalization of regions going on. I'm wondering if we can say something more about ones. No. So if you have... No, I'm thinking about it the wrong way around, actually. No, in my head I've got it backwards. Oh, that's not going to help me. No, ones, ones are quite... So what couldn't a one go in? A one couldn't... A one... Yeah, I mean, if that cell is a one, what what effectively you're saying there is that unless that is on an, a red X, it has to be connected orthogonally to another green cell, which is uh, neither here nor there. Sorry, that's just a total inamity. Right. OK, let's forget that. Let's let's try and build some regions then. So we've got a 17 region here. Oh, goodness, there's an explosion outside. Um, Right, so that's a 17 region, and there's no possibility, yeah, there's no possibility that these overlap. The 17 is sitting on its own. Now this is not, this is not a normal 9 by 9 There is a knowledge bomb for you. It's a 6 by 6 So the highest digits, so right, so this region here, which is, is saying it's measuring orthogonal connectedness, isn't it? So what, what colour should we make this? These are the questions that I'm going to consider. I'm going to make it blue. Um, so, yeah, what I was going to say is that this can't only be three cells large because six, five and four would be the most I could put into these three squares. They would add up to 15 and that is not 17. So this has to grow and be bigger. Uh, this has to grow because there's no eights in the puzzle. So that's got to grow. This, well, that one is, well, that certainly has to grow, but I don't know which direction it grows in unless I am meant to. Maverick has just taken off. That hasn't taken long. Um, 
so. Um, sorry, I'm going to I'm going to say something. The Maverick is flying very low today. I'm sorry if you can hear the aeroplane noise as he fly, flies past my window. Um, so. It's probably to do with the secret. The secret's different today. Now, the secret is something I tell only my favourite people. But if, if you're watching this video, you're definitely one of my favourite people. The secret is that the sum of all the digits in this puzzle, i.e. a complete row or column or region, is, is 21 today. It's not 45 because the digits 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 sum to 21. So there aren't many digits missing from the orthogonal blue region. It's got a maximum of two digits missing. Oh, I see. right. Yes. OK. Uh, no, this is right. So this is much more simple. Yeah. OK. So the point is, this is this is not. Ah, that's gorgeous. That is an absolutely beautiful first step. Wow. OK. So the point is. We, we worked out that the seven, the orthogonally connected 17 stretch of digits in blue is not three cells because six, five, four don't add up to enough. Is it four cells? That's a good, that's the good question. Is it four cells? And the answer is no, because if it was four cells, which digits would be missed out from that orthogonal stretch of digits? So let's make it there and say all of these are something else red. I mean, that can't exist, but let's say it was that. Those four cells would add up to 17. So the two cells in blue that were not connected to these cells would add up to four, but there would be two of them. How do you make two different Sudoku digits add up to four? They must be one and three. Now that means that four is in this group. And if four is in this group, it's meant to have an X because that's what X's mean. So actually, Actually, this has a five in it. Well, no, let's let's go through the logic properly. This must therefore be a five cell orthogonal stretch. It can't be a six cell orthogonal stretch because six different digits add up to 21. So it's five different orthogonal sets stretch. Uh, ah, so it's five dif different digits. But the digit that's going to be missed out from a five cell sequence adding up to 17 is a four. 17 plus 4 is 21 and that means that this has got this blue stretch has got its correct count within it and its correct count needs to go in a x square well that's too far away so it's got to go there that this this that's that's the sort of opening of the puzzle you write 5 in there that that's got to grow uh, because 10 you can't make 10 in one cell and OK, so perhaps what we need to do now, because because this has to have a diagonal connecting digit now that is a four. So that's in one of those two squares. One of those is a blue four. And if I see if it. Oh, no. Well, hang on, if that's a blue four, that can't work, can it? I'm, I, I, my first reaction is that can't work, but I'm going to think about that again in a moment. Um, let me just... I'm, what I'm actually wanting to do here is to write 1, 2, 3 and 6 into there. And, and I'm going to... Let me pick a colour to do this in. I'm going to delineate this region to indicate that... Um, that blue can't go to any of those squares that it's separated from by a black line. Now, my, so my thought was, if this is a four to be the, the blue extension, if this is the blue extension, then that domino is meant to sum up to 10, isn't it? 
and it would be a 6-4 pair, because it can't be double 5. And then there'd be two 4s in the row, so I don't think that's right. I hope I've not misunderstood something there. I think that has to be a 4, that has to be blue, that's the end of the blue region. Um, and now okay a fatuous comment but I'm going to make it this is not a four cell sequence of orthogonally connected cells summing to ten because the only way of making ten in four different digits is with one, two, three and four and they include the number four and that should have a red X in it, which it wouldn't have, because the only red X we've not used is down there. So, this is either three cells or two cells. Now, if it's two cells, it would be a four, six pair. And that wouldn't contain a two. So that's legal. And if it's three cells, then it couldn't contain a three because there's no red X, so it would have to be, would have to be, it couldn't be 613, could it? So it would have to be 5, and it couldn't be 523, so it would be 514. So why is that wrong? Or perhaps it's not. So if that's 514, right, now I can see why that's wrong, right. In fact, it's nothing. In fact, it's that's really this is beautiful. This is beautiful because it's nothing to do with the number. Well, it's only very tangentially to do with the makeup of the numbers, not really to do with the makeup of the numbers at all. Oh, that's lovely. Right. OK, so this cannot be true. So, right, let's go through this. We've worked out that the green section of the grid, this green 10 is not four cells. If it's three cells, then it looks like this, doesn't it? And these two are therefore not green. They're some other color. So how does green get six cells? Well, green has to take that square. But that immediately, that's part of a 14 size orthogonally connected unit series of cells. But 14 and 10 is 24. And there are not 24's worth of digits in the green region because the secret today is 21. So this doesn't work. This doesn't work. So this is a two cell sequence. It is four six. This is therefore a new color um and um yeah that must be not orange i think that's legitimate isn't it there's no way of joining those two together so this is this is a completely new color but green has to get out so green has to go there and these don't include six now five in the top row is in one of two places this this digit is one two or three because it, it can't be five and it's it can't be four or six. It's already had four or six in its region. Yellow. Yellow is not green. <laughs> so yellow has to get out. Now. This is really weird because my first instinct here is to draw those in. But that's not valid, is it? I mean, yellow has to get out. So whether or not yellow takes that, it does take that. Yeah, OK. So yellow takes that. But the problem is this could be green because three regions can go diagonally and yellow, yellow can still get out. That's fine. So. So does that have to be? yellow or not yes I, I, I suppose the reason this has to be yellow is not it's actually nothing to do with anything other than the fact that yellow has to get to six cells in the end so imagine this was not yellow yellow can't grow it doesn't see any cells diagonally that will get it out again so that's yellow not by dint of the 14 but just by being forcing yellow to get out but now mm, once yellow gets this one it could take that one it doesn't have to take this one 
So this is green or yellow. Um, so what do we do here? Do we just do maths on this then? So if this was, I mean, if that's, if that's yellow, yeah, if, if that's yellow, those four, th th those four cells add up to 14 because we couldn't put another yellow in because you can't make five different numbers add up to 14 because the triangle number five is 15. So, so if this is yellow, this is a four cell sequence, but it doesn't have any red thingies in it. So not having red thingies means it cannot contain a four. So it has to be, okay, yes, all right. So it's a four cell sequence adds up to 14. The other two digits, therefore, add up to the difference between 21 and 14, which is 7. And one of those digits must be a 4 because we can't put 4 in the region. So the other digit is a 3. So this would be 1, 2, 5, 6. Ah. No, so that would be a 6 because there is a 6 in one of those two squares. So these squares would be 1, 2, 5. This would be a 1 or a 2. Wow. Um, I mean, there might... I don't know. I don't know. There might be a reason that's not possible, but I don't know what it is immediately. I'm going to restore my pencil mark 6 there. Right, let's check the other way around then. So if this is... If this is green, on the other hand, there are, ah, does that all, ah, okay, here's a point, here's a much easier point. Green has to get to six cells, so green has to take that square, that's definitely green. Right, and that also, in effect, sees the four, six in its own region and the five, so that's also one, two, or three. Ah, here's a point. Well, oh, I'm not sure it applies to that one, but it definitely applies to that one. That can't be a 1, because it would be in a region of size 1. So if that's green, that can't be a 1. So if that's green... If that's green, it couldn't be a 1. But then there will be a one somewhere else, and that can't be on its own. So there would be a domino here or here, including the one. And that domino couldn't include a two. <laughs> uh, no, hang on, this is ludicrous. Um, if that's all, if this was green. If this is green, also this has to add up to 14, which it's not big enough to do at the moment. So, hang on, let me think about that. So, if this, if this is green, this needs to be bigger, so it would have to go there. Um... Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, so here is a generalizable point about a 14 region, or this 14 region at least. It's never three cells, is it? Because the only way it can be three cells is if it's five, six, three. That's the only combination. And that includes a three, which wouldn't be a red thing, would, wouldn't have a red X. Right, so let's back up. So these two digits, which are definitely part of the... Oh, let's restore the yellow thing there. These two digits are definitely part of a four-cell sequence that sums to 14 and doesn't include a four or a three. So these are either one, two, five, or six. That's definitely not five or six. This is definitely a one or a two. And that digit has to appear in one of the, those two digits in box. 
or in row one. Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, I'm getting stuck here. I've got to look at this. Um, what do we know about this? We know that this is a four. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't notice that. Okay, that's that's completely inept solving. Look, there's just where do you put four in this row? That's a four. So. Well, that can't be a four as well. So this has to grow. Right, so this grows. This is of size. Oh, that's right. Okay, this is lovely. And this actually is easier as well. Because, right, this is part of some sequence of digits that are orthogonally connected that sum to eight. Well, it's not a two-cell sequence because that can't be a four. It can't be a four-cell sequence because four different digits add up to ten at least. So it is a three cell sequence. But how do you make three different digits in Sudoku add up to eight uh, if one of those digits is a four? Well, the other two digits have to be one and three. But three is the size of the orthogonal region. So that needs to be in an X, which must now be there. So that is a three. It's orange. This is a one. And now these squares are not well does that mean that's orange i think it does because orange has to grow to be size six and it can't take any of those three squares so that's orange and that is a two five or a six uh, one comes out of this square now this is beautiful look what this has done so now i've got a two three pair in green which means if this is green it's one or five well it can't be one it would be five because it can't be one because it would be on its own. So if this is green, this is five. Um, sorry, there's another noise coming past now outside the window. Um, ah, that's a two in the corner. No song, but it's still very welcome. Um... So these squares here are from, it's quite loud actually, I'm sorry about this. I'll try and speak into the microphone more clearly. Um, one, three, five. It's actually, it actually makes it hard for me to think as well. Um, okay, well hang on, if that's green, we know it's not one, so it is five, but then where do I put the one in Oh, you can do it, actually. I was just wondering where you put the green one if this was green. Because remember, the green one can't live in its own region. So it would have to join orthogonally to this, but there's a one here, so that would have to be a one. Which... Hmm, which might be okay. Oh dear, sorry. Um, what is it I'm missing? I've got no, there's no more clue. I mean, that's ludicrous, actually. There are no more clues. Oh, well, I suppose the 14 clue, I've not used that quite properly yet. So hang on, let me think about this again. If this was... If this was yellow, that's a sequence, isn't it? And those, we know they don't include three and four. So they would be one five in these squares, two six in these squares. Two six in these squares. Oh, right. I've got it. All right, finally. Okay, that is this is beautiful as well. I'm just going to double check, actually. I think this is beautiful. I think the problem arises if this is yellow, but I'm just going to think about that again. If, if this is yellow, 
this is one, two, five, and six, because we know a four, the four cell yellow sequence, wherever it goes, doesn't include three and four. So there would be no three here. This would be two, this would be three. Yeah, it is right, I think. Okay, so if this is the situation we're, we're examining. Now, because these squares are now one, two, five, six, look what happens. This becomes a two, and that's important because this becomes a three. And now this can't grow. It, we still, this is the limit of this orthogonal region. So its next digit is definitely that one. And that, that can't be anything. It sees three and four in its column, and it sees one, two, five, six in its, in its region already. <laughs> so that's not right. So in fact, <laughs> that is green, which is not one. We worked that out. A two, three have already appeared, so that's five in the corner. That This can't be a one yellow, <laughs> because it would just be isolated. So that's got to be a three. That's got to be a one. These are a three, six pairs. Uh, that's a two. That's a three. This is a one. This is not five, look. Uh, oh, I see. Right. So now let's think about this. This is an orthogonally connected region that adds up to 14. So we've got to take that square and that square can't be five. So that's two or six. Now, how does it grow? It's not reached the size of 14 yet. It needs a five. Well, it can't be there, so it must be there. So that is a yellow five. That is the extent of that yellow region. So we can hive a lot of this off, look. We do need a one. Yeah, we do need a one in green, don't we? Where's that coming? It's not there, so it must be there. And that's OK, because it can't be there because it would be isolated and not in a red thingy. So that's a region. That region has no two in it, so that's fine. That's a two on its own. That's fine. How do you set something like this? It's just baffling, isn't it? Right. But this is good, because where is the four in the yellow region? It can't be orthogonally connected, and the only other cell it can be is that one, therefore. And finally, that ghastly noise has stopped outside. Now that, look, that does that, that, and that. I now get a two at the bottom of the grid here. Um, these squares are three and four. I can do that. Four, three. These are uh, no three in the corner. This is a one, six pair. Um, oh, wow. OK, let's 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 think about this stuff down here, because all of those are part of the same region, aren't they? They can't connect to anything else because there's no diagonal available. Green, yellow, and and blue are all finished now. So these are all part of the same region. Therefore, that's part of that region. So that that, is, that is, noise has started up again. That is a region. But we worked out earlier that if we were to include, if this was purple, there would be a six in the region. And that six should be red, red X'd, and it's not. So that is how purple completes itself, and that digit is a five. Um, so now we can do that and that. Okay, so that's not five anymore. Now I don't know what to do. Um, oh. Okay, so how do we do this then? Oh, I see. Th this this square's fixed. That's a six, just by Sudoku. So six, two, one, six, five in the corner. This is a one, three. Oh, okay. So now it's just filling in. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're going to get there. Um, this is four in the column. That is five. Uh, and that's two six, which is the same as that. So, so the regions somehow are going to tell us the order of this, which will determine the order of this. Right, okay, I see. So one has appeared in orange, so that is some new colour. What colour should we make it? We will make it oh, grey. 
3 has appeared in orange, so that's grey. 5... Oh, well, orange has to have a 5 in it. And it can't be that one, because then this wouldn't be an 8 clue, so it must be that one. And now this isn't allowed to be orange, so that's grey. Both of these are grey by dint of the fact they're not orange, because they're orthogonally connected, so... Oh, no, I still haven't done it. Ah! Oh, right, yeah, no, it's orange that determines it. Yes, orange needs a six. How does it get one? That's a, that's beautiful. That's, this is so ridiculous, KNT. How your brain can do this, I have no idea. That is absolutely wonderful. There we go. I think, I think I've done it. Is it right? Yes. Puzzle's correct. <laughs> I'm the one. I'm the one hundredth solver. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm the one hundredth solver of disconnected by KNT. That's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? The logic's just gorgeous um, and really surprising and very, very powerful. Because there was a point somewhere in the solve where I had hardly any. Um, I had hardly any clues left. I had this clue left. But there was nothing else, and yet it all sort of disambiguates. That's an incredibly satisfying puzzle, and very original. Uh, and clearly set by a genius mind. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.